Hola! <laughs> That's my only word of Spanish. Right, okay, so I'm going to do another lesson in Spanish. Uh, I've not revisited the first lesson yet where I did the uh, how to go for the alphabet, but I'm just going to crack on with lesson number two. I'm going to the same site that I was on before, uh, the language tutor. Uh, this is lesson two, learning personal pronouns in Spanish. The link is down below. Make sure you, if you enjoy this, go and sub the fella up. Um, he's got loads of subs already. I'm sure he doesn't need any. Well, yeah, he doesn't, uh, having more can't hurt. But anyway, if you're looking to learn Spanish, go and sub the fella up. Definitely. He's got, you know, he knows what he's talking about. I'm sure. Uh, it's only my second lesson. I'm assuming he's telling me all, all the right stuff. Anyway, it's quite a long lesson. So let's crack on with it. So learning personal pronouns in Spanish, the language tutor, lesson two. <laughs> let's, uh, let's give this a go, shall we? Hope for the best. Uh... Cello, I think. Wow, it's a long old thinking intro. Hola amigos, bienvenidos Hola. a la clase de español. Hi friends, welcome. I'm so glad you're with us today. Thank you for watching the language tutor today. And look, today's lesson, I'm going to give you something that's going to be a foundation for everything else you do as you start to learn Spanish and as you... Can I just start off by saying, why do you have to make it so difficult? Why has there got to be a different word for men and a different word for women? Why can't you just put it all together? So when I say amigo, it means everybody. But I've got to say amigo for men and amiga for ladies. That's the only two I know. There's probably more, but that's probably just one. That's just one. And compañero or campanero is it? I can't even remember that. You go through even more advanced Spanish. Today I'm going to teach you what I simply call as the chart all right the chart. now if you're like me sometimes i like to have something that i can see you're obviously american this fella and it's a, i'm pretty sure he's american where do you reckon he's from in america can we work at i mean do you reckon is that a texas drool he's got there maybe maybe from el paso or something visually that helps me organize things and helps me put things to, into place in my mind and you know, there are people that learn by seeing, there are people that learn by writing, there are people that learn by just mentally placing things and doing. People like me probably won't be able to learn. Things, this chart really helps all types of learners. It allows you to organize in your mind everything from verbs, pronouns, um, some types of adjectives, all kinds of stuff. So today I want to teach you the chart and I want to encourage you to really, really start imprinting this in your mind because I'm telling you, it's going to be really, really helpful to you. I can't tell you how many times I've had students come back and say, thanks for teaching me that chart and to beat it in my head because it really, really, really helped me. So here we go. Now what we're going to do, we're going to draw the chart first and then we're going to kind of start filling it in. First thing I want you to do is put one line down and then two lines across. I haven't got okay, paper so and got pen. One line it? down and two I'd lines across. I know I have paper like and this. pen. I would have... Okay, that's the chart. Now, what I want you to do is to, to look at this chart and think about it in two sides. You've got the left side and you've got the right side. And on the left side, you've got three spaces. And on the right side, you have three spaces. So just go ahead and just start imprinting in your mind. One, two, three, and one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, one, three. two three. Kind of get that in your mind. All right. Now, I'm going to mirror you. Uh, so you're looking at this the right way. But the left side over here is going to be what we call the singular side. Singular. And the right side is going to be the plural side. Plural side. All right. You got single now, and plural as well as male and female. Side, we're going to put five words. And on the right side, the plural side, we're going to put five words. In just a moment. Now, already you've imprinted one, two, three, one, two, three. Now I want you to look at the spaces in terms of top, middle, and bottom. Okay? The top spaces are always going to be first person. The first spaces are first person. 
And of course, you know what first person means. I'm talking about myself. Right. Now, first person singular obviously would be just me, just myself. First person plural would be myself Us. and at least one other person, sort of a we thing. Right. Now, second person, the middle box on each side, you. those are second person. That's I'm talking directly to someone as if I'm talking to you right now. All right. So over here, second person singular, and over here, second person plural, right? I'm talking to one person. Now I'm talking directly to two or more people. And I bet you can guess what the bottom ones are. Third person. Now, third person obviously means I'm talking about someone. I'm not talking to them. So that's what third right. person is. We're going to put three words in the bottom left and three words in the bottom right. Here's the thing. There's one exception in Spanish, but I'm going to explain that later. There's one word that's not really third, per third person, but goes in that <laughs> spot. So let's talk about that later, okay? Now, let's go ahead and start filling in our chart and talking about what goes there and why it goes there. Okay, we're going to put in this chart subject pronouns. Subject pronouns, the subject of sentences, I, you, he, she, we, they, you, plural. That's what we're going to put on the chart in Spanish. All right, so on the top left up here, the top left, let's go ahead and write the word for I, which is yo. 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 Remember yo. not to round that O. Yo. 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 Y-O. That means I. Yo. Anytime you're going to say I in Spanish, that's going to be yo. Yo, we put the gray it man. there in the top left because everything that has to do with me on the chart from now on is going to go in the top left box, okay? Right. And, and again, this will start, be, it'll start becoming more clear to you as we go through further lessons. Because okay, so it goes up in the top clear. left. Now, in the middle left, I want you to write this word. Tu. T U cool. with an accent over the U. That's very important. That Hold on. When we did the alphabet, there was no U with an accent over it. I thought I'd seen this U with an accent on it before in a couple of places. But when we went for the alphabet, I'm sure he didn't mention U with an accent over it. Is it not hard enough having a tilde over the blinking and a double R and a double L? You've now got to have accents over letters as well. You guys, what kind of language is this? It's crazy language. <laughs> we put that accent on the U. We can't just leave it off because if we do, we actually change the meaning of the word. So accents are important. All right. So tu is going to go right there in the middle left all by itself. Yo. And so that's how I would say tu. you if I were tu. talking directly to one person. Now, I do want to point out that tu is what we call informal or casual. It's someone you know, um, uh, a friend, a child. That's that's when we would say tu to say you. Okay? And I'll show you the other one in just a minute that's a little more respectful and formal. Okay, so now so far we go ahead and start getting this in your mind. Yo, tu. Yo, yo tu. tu. Just start imprinting yo, that in your mind. Yo, now let's go tu. to that bottom uh, left corner, the bottom left box. We're going to put three words there. The first one is going to be el. Free. El. That's E-L e -L with el. an accent. Okay. Those are the only two that have accents. Tu and el right now. So el has an accent. And again, what happens if we leave off that accent? It's we change the, the word. Of the word. Exactly. But so how do you pronounce el, el with an accent? He. Now without an accent. He. How do you put, make, say el with an accent to make it different from el with, without an accent? E was like I, wasn't it? Like eh, 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 L, L. Because I was E. Uh. And then below it, you can probably guess we're going to put she, which is ella. E L L. -A. E -A. Remember that double L sounds like ya. So it's e ya. E -A. A lot of people want to say ella or elia. But remember, it's just that E by itself is E, and then double L, Y, A, E. So whenever two L's are together, it's always like, yeah, yeah. Whenever there's two L's together, there's no words where an L will be next to an L, and it's like, Ella. It'll always be, yeah. 
Right. Yeah. All right. Hey, yeah. Now, in the bottom part of this box, we're going to write one more word, and that word is usted. Oh. Usted. U-S-T-E-D. No more accents to deal with right now. Usted means you. I don't know about you stayed, right? Bastard. <laughs> Bastard for teaching me all these words. So, you, so would that be you? Usted is you when it's more than one person. So if it's el, el, if it's a man, elna, ella, 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 if it's a woman, usted, if it's like men and women or a group, yo, tu, el, ella, usted. But it's you if I'm wanting to show respect, oh. wanting to add respect. This might be someone that you would say ma'am or sir to. Instead of saying tu to say you to that person, we want to say usted. It just adds more respect to it. And again, tu is not disrespectful. It's just informal, casual people we know. So right now you might be saying why did we put usted in that box because one word and i've got five words to remember you have the laughing yeah doesn't it mean you and i thought this was a visual organizer shouldn't it go in that middle box with the other you it'd be nice if it could but it can't now i'm going to tell you why in a brief statement that may not make sense to you right now but the reason usted has to go down here is None of it makes sense to me right now. Because he uses the same stuff as él and, and ella. So él, ella, and usted use the same stuff. All right? I know that doesn't make a lot of sense, but it will in the future, I promise you. Usted can't use the stuff that tú uses. They don't go together. All right? So that'll make sense in the future. All right. Right now, you should be really focusing on this. Yo, tú, él, ella, usted. Yo, tú, tú el, ella, usted. usted. Really get in those ella, five usted. words. Let's get the other five Yo, really quick. Tú, el, On the ella, right usted. side over here. Yo, tú, We've got the el, plural ella, side usted. now, right? So plural, first person, it's going to be me. It's going to be other people. So that's we, right? Oh, we. So we. the word is nosotros. Nosotros. <sighs> We, W, E, simple, tiny little word meaning us, we, nosos, nosotros, oh, man. N-O-S-O, -O, nosotros. Okay. nosotros. I want to go ahead and tell you that in Spanish, sometimes we have to adjust for gender, okay? So nosotros can sometimes also be nosotras. But that's only if you're talking about just a group of girls. You're saying we, and it's only girls you're talking about. Then it would be nosotras. Otherwise, it's nosotros, okay? Mixed people are just boys. Now, that means we. All right, let's go down to the middle box. And you're probably already saying, hey, I bet I know what this one means. You, plural. Well, you're right. So we got you, second person, directly talking to you. But now it's plural, so it's more than you. It's somebody else, too, that we're talking to. This word is vosotros. Vosotros. Now, vosotros, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, it's pretty much used in Spain. Okay? okay. Make a note that this means you, plural, as talking to a group. Sometimes we say y'all, right? Uh, but it is pretty much a Spain word. Okay. okay, you're going to see in some countries, they'll say vos, a shortened vos. version, that V-O-S. But even that word is used differently in different parts. I know when I've been in Bolivia, they use vos differently than they do in Costa Rica. It just depends on where you are. Right now, let's just stick with vosotros and know that that means you plural, and it's pretty much used in Spain. Okay, <laughs> go to the bottom right. And let's get a couple of more pronouns. The final ones, we're going to get the two forms of they. Because remember, right. we're talking about third person, talking about somebody. Yo, plural, to el, we're not ella, talking to usted. them, just about them. Nosotros, so vosotros, first of all, there's vosotros. ellos. E-L-L-O-S. That means they, 
Eos. And then Eyas under it Eyas. also means they. But you only use Eyas, I bet you can guess when, when you're Ladies. only talking about a group of girls. You're saying right. they, but it's just girls. Eyos is what we would use any other time. Mixed gender or just guys. Now, underneath that, let's write our last word, and that is the plural form of usted, which ustedes. is ustedes. Ustedes. Okay, right. Ustedes. Now, ustedes also means you, plural, talking to two or more people. What but is it? Respectful. Ustedes is used in all Spanish-speaking countries. Okay. It's universal. Remember, vosotros means the same thing, but it's only used in Spain for the most part. And then ustedes, though, is the one you're going to use anywhere to say you plural. All right, friends. Now, what I want you to do is to start doing this. Yo, tú, él, ella, usted. Nosotros, vosotros, ellos, ellas, ustedes. You can do this while you're driving. You can do this while you're watching TV, doing the dishes, eating dinner, whatever. You can practice this chart all the time. I can't even do that looking at it. All right, left hand side, right? Yo, yo, tu, el, e, ella, usted. Nosotros, vosotros, ellos, ellas, ustedes. Ustedes. Yo, tu, el, ella, usted. Nosotros, vosotros, ellas, ellas, ustedes. I want to tell you how important it is, if you really want to learn Spanish, how important it is to know these 10 words. Because honestly, if we look at them, they're kind of baby words, aren't they? We, we use those all the time, every day. They're simple words. Yo so go ahead and get those down. Ella, know where they are vosotros, vosotros, on the chart ellas, and what they mean. Ellos, and if no, you ellos, do that, you're going to find that a lot of ellas, stuff that I teach you in ellas, the future is going to be that. so easy to learn because you're going to be able to place AR verbs in different places on the chart or ER verbs or irregular verbs or stem changing or adjectives or whatever. So much is learned on this chart. And it's a great organizer. So I encourage you to get this down as soon as possible. Friends, thanks for watching the language tutor. If you have a question for me. Hold on a second. Yo to el ella usted. Nosotros, nosotros, ellas, ellas, ustedes. Yo to el ella usted. Nosotros, vosotros, ellas, ellas. No, ellas. Ella, e, ellas. I keep looking at the double L and I can't help but say double L like in, in English, but it's a Y, isn't it? Ellas, ustedes. Spat a bit there. Sorry about that. Uh, I hope I don't spit. If I, if I learn Spanish, I hope I don't spit at people by accident. <laughs> Yo to el ella usted. Nosotros, vosotros, ella, ellos, ellas, ustedes. It's so simple. <laughs> wow. It's so simple. I can't believe how simple it is. It's like it must be the most simple language in the world. <laughs> right uh i'm gonna forget that by next time obviously um oh my gosh anyone's got any uh tips on uh how to remember it um yeah feel free to uh to help <laughs> if anyone wants to come and do a stream with me sometime and give me some some live lessons anyone out there in argentina speaks spanish and english wants to give me some lessons maybe we could do a, a a lesson stream sometime um that'd be interesting um in the meantime yo to el as usted usted i think it was usted um oh no no vostros <laughs> I can't remember the second bit already. Um, and um, e, um, Eos, Eas, Ustedes, Ustedes. What was it? Novos, Novostros? It says like Russian now, I'm saying. It says like Novoskoskosk, Novostros, Novostros, 
Rovers Ross. I can't remember on that side. All right. I'll go, yeah. Okay. I'll be uh, attempting badly a uh, Spanish lesson uh, again, possibly next week. Um, cheers for watching. Um, couldn't you just all speak English instead? It'd be a lot easier if you could all just learn English. It'd save me a heck of a job. Anyway, I'm out of here. Cheers for watching. Bye. Oh, let me just do my sign off. I normally do these sign offs with um, my music one. So this is Spanish. So let's see if I can get this right. Uh, gracias por mira, vuelvo mañana para otro video.